uk.eu. Okay. Because if you're going to promote openness, openness around data is fundamental. Now, you wouldn't think, actually, that being anything particularly exciting about opening public sector information, because some of the stuff I'll show you is very dull, but it could be very worthy, and it might just be very valuable. Could you imagine there was anything really exciting about the government releasing the database on where all the bus stops are in the United Kingdom? The position of all the bus stops. This was a breakthrough. It will probably have very significant commercial advantage, and also it pointed out to people just how many bus stops were in the wrong place, as far as the government's data was concerned as well. Get a lot of eyeballs onto data, you can crowdsource it. So, London has a data store, Vancouver has a data store, the United States has a, a, a national data store, we do. They're, these are growing and emerging. We all know, or should know, the power of information liberation, of public data in particular. This is the famous example of, 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 of John Snow, who was a physician in London in the 19th century, who took the then map data, uh, mapping data of the time, a, a map of the local area of London, and drew in on it mortalities, people who had died from an outbreak of cholera, and observed that all the deaths clustered around a particular water pump. That was the first time people had associated cholera as a waterborne disease. Changed public health forever. These are powerful. These are not new insights. What we're trying to do with public data is make that commonplace. Whether it's an observation about timeliness of public transport and where the bus stops are, or an age demographic relationship, the kind of thing that a specialist analyst could do could be done by corporations, third sector, governments, anybody. We got a break in the UK, famously before Tim and I were appointed, uh, somebody in the uh, number 10 uh, advisory team had a friend killed by a bi uh, in a bicycle accident uh, a few months earlier. And they asked, well, is there any information available from the tran Department of Transport on bicycle accidents? They got hold of a data set. The Department of Transport never thought it should or might or ought to be published. It was wrung out of them, put up. Within a day, the formats had been converted twice and then put onto a Google Map representation. At that point, you couldn't easily use the UK's own map data because it was not royalty-free. It is now. You could put it on a map and somebody would have the ingenuity to actually write a bicycle black spot avoidance application in 24 to 48 hours. How long would the Department of Transport have taken to even build it an application? Imagine such a service was possible. This is the innovative power of information exploited at the edge, to use Benkler's term. 